لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. أمة الله من باكستان. Shaykh Ahdi says, whoever buys a cloth for a ten dirham and one dirham is haram, Allah will not accept his salah. I'm a layman, I don't know how to interpret. So in the light of this, if I've paid an amount for zakah on any asset, the asset is completely lawful. But the earning from which I've paid zakah, some of which carries the riba amount either from bank or any other source, I don't know how much it is, it is difficult for me to separate. So would the halal portion of it still be counted or the entire amount would be nullified and the rest is automatically discounted? Jazakallah. The haram is haram and the halal is halal. If you have mixed earnings and you have halal portion and haram portion, whatever is haram is not accepted as charity and whatever is halal is accepted. How to know? You have to do your calculation and estimate what is haram and cleanse your wealth by giving it to uh, poor uh, or needy Muslims as a form of cleansing your wealth, not as a form of charity. And Allah knows best. And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website and you will find counseling sessions and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi'idhnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all bi'idhnillah.